digging this music. Welcome back. We're playing the Basement Collection. I am Travis. TravisPlace.com. And um, we're going to play Coil from the Basement Collection. It's a very interesting game. It's kind of out there. Never played it before. Uh, I've never done thing really with it. I've never even heard of it, but I picked up the basement collection and I'm gonna give it a shot. Kinda going through. Let's see, when she awoke from the coil, time didn't wait for her. It just watched her whimper. As it crushed her ego, cracking her just enough to reach inside. Get into that. Okay, so I am a sperm now. Is that an egg? Let me in. I think I need to find another egg. Let's see here. Just a sperm looking for an egg. Oh, there's one. Grab it. Clicking. Not really sure what's doing what. Oh, I just fertilized. Yes! He whispered as she was divided. This will make you remember that I am a part of you. Each cell is marked by the name. You can't ever leave me. I'm all you have. It's kind of scary. Okay, so we're breaking up these cells. The egg, I'm assuming. I don't, I'm not quite sure what we need to do. Maybe we need to make them, put them all in one, or like with their own colors. Sure. Uh huh. Just kind of clicking around. I'm not sure whether to use the keyboard or what I'm supposed to be doing here. Really, all I know is. We've got mad cells here. The only thing I can think of is to kind of get them, at least try to get them in a way that ah, it's sort of color coordinated. Which it seems like that's it, but it's not really doing anything. That. Okay. Can I get you guys out or something? I had them all separated. Oh, I guess that was it. When he released her, she could feel his wet hair run through her fingers as she descended into the darkness. His face, distorted by their distance, faded into the night. She was alone. Yet, she could still feel him inside her. The feeling was comforting and familiar, but his patience scared her. She knew he was still there, watching her, just out of the light, waiting. Okay. Um, trying to get up, I think. I think, maybe. can't really... I don't know if I'm trying to get up or make it down. <laughs> there seems to be some type of like embryo inside me there. 
can kind of move my mouse around in a circle here and try to get up there. Well, I've sort of reached the top and nothing's happening, so I'm guessing I'm supposed to go down. So in that case, let's focus on getting down. Alright, we're at the bottom. She would find herself reaching out to others taking small pieces of them with her as mementos. These are the things she felt were important, the things that made these people significant. Every aspect of her being was composed of others. Her arms grew stronger with every embrace. Her lips grew fuller with every kiss. Okay. Got this thing. I think I'm supposed to like pull this guy in here. Yep. I'm sort of eating this thing here. Get in there. Get this guy in here. Can I get two for one? What if I get like a bunch of them together? Not really. <sighs> she would lead them to him watching as his hands reached out to pull them away. Their essence consumed and nothing remained. She would fantasize what it was like to feel his hands on her body, penetrating her and draining her into nothing. This is kind of, uh... Oh, it's art or something. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm controlling here. Or if I'm controlling anything. Nope. Kind of controlling that, I guess. So stuff is moving. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's kind of controlling this thing. I guess I need to put it. There we go. Where I can grab him. Got it. But time did pass. They fell into one another at first glance, their fingers intertwined as they walked. This wasn't what she was used to, but from here on things wouldn't be the same, and even though they longed, they longing lingered for once in her life, she was forgot about him. She something. Life forgot about him. I skipped it too fast, okay. Here we go. Oh my god. I want to be next to you, or are you shooting things at me? Do you love me, or do you hate me? I don't know. Oh yeah, soak up that whatever it is. <laughs> After the dust settled, and everyone had moved on, once again she was alone. And she only had herself to blame. If she had of just embraced her feelings when they called to her, maybe she wouldn't have taken it taken in so many of the things she later grew to hate. <sighs> Reading. And maybe it was time to change. So she closed her eyes, pushing out every aspect of everyone she'd taken on back into a world she never knew. I always think it's going to take longer to move on. Get off the text there. What am I doing here? Do I need to go in the water? No. She 
feel him in the room with her. Her eyes darted around, searching for movement. In the darkness, frantic and confused, her breathing became fast and shallow as her eyes welled up with tears. He was here, and there was nothing she could do to stop him. She was scared. Scared of all the things she would be leaving. Scared of how she would be treated. Scared of what she had done. As the room grew dim, she could feel his hand reach out for her, touching her in a way that was comforting and familiar. She was leaving. As he picked her up, he... Wait a minute. Really? This is the same thing again. I think that's it. I think that's the end of the game. Alright, well. <laughs> Another episode of Let's Play The Basement Collection. Thank you for playing. Travis, TravisPlays.com. This has been extremely exciting. We'll see you on the next one.